people of the internet, it's Amanda and for today's video, we're here to talk about Yoamushi Pedal Up The Road starring Nagaseren, Ito Kentaro, Hashimoto Kana, and Bandoriota. And given the cast lineup alone, I mean, I think you already have an idea as to what piqued my interest about this film in the first place. <laughs> no, but seriously, even as a fan of shonen sports anime for some reason, I haven't seen the anime for this one. I mean, I tried watching the first episode. For some reason, I just ended up not watching the entire thing. That said, this review is coming from the perspective of someone who hasn't seen the original source material. So if you're an anime fan, then probably you would be disappointed in this review. <laughs> but um, again, if you're just someone who's curious about whether or not this film is worth watching or anything like that, then maybe we're on the same lane. Um, and yeah. <laughs> The story starts off with Onoda Sakamichi, played by Nagaseren, who is this dorky, anime-loving guy who, after school, rides his bike from the slopey hills of Chiba to Akihabara, which is, according to the film, 42 to 45 kilometers in terms of distance. So that's not exactly an easy feat, especially given his really shabby bicycle. So this sort of like piques the interest of Imaizumi, which is played by Ito Kentaro, who is um, planning to join the, um, the cycling club of this school. So he, he sort of like challenges Onoda in exchange of, you know, um, with Onoda wanting to restore the anime club in the hopes of not wanting to end up alone and earning friends and stuff like that. Um, and that sort of like became their duel. So if if Onoda was to beat Imaizumi, then therefore he would join the anime club, and um, if not, then blah blah blah. Now, in the end, there was this sort of like reconciliation that Imaizumi wanted Onoda to try out for the cycling club as well. Um, and as with any, as with any sports anime narrative, it's always the same thing where we have the main character as this sort of like. Um, Weakling, well, very fitting for this one because of the title of Yowamushi, but um, this very weak character who seems super ordinary, who doesn't seem like they have anything special in them, but then for some reason, someone else who is already sort of like skilled in this particular thing that they're trying to aim at takes notice, tries to push out their potential, and eventually, like, even if they're still a growing character, like the main character, even if they're still growing, even if they're not exactly a genius in that particular aspect, there's just something about them that sort of like inspires the other characters to do better. And that's basically the dynamic of this entire film. We see Hashimoto Kana here as Kanzaki as one of the supporting characters who sort of like arbitrates the whole thing with Imaizumi and Onoda and, you know, sort of like a mini uh, fairy godmother in this narrative. But other than that, I mean, the entire concept of this is just Onoda always trying his best because finally he, he found a place where he can earn friends. And that is his main motivation as to why he ended up, you know, pursuing this. And I think that's a very positive and lighthearted message about this film is that he wanted to make that change for himself and that's why he was willing to sort of like steer clear from his comfort zone which is initially wanted to re wanting to reestablish the anime club but then given that there there's no one else interested in it so um he 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 sort of like tries something else where someone sort of like inspired him to do that so it's 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 this thing where and it's a constant thing with onoda's character where he keeps on pushing the fact that um that he doesn't want to be alone anymore and he's been given a task and he's been given responsibilities and he wants to commit to these things and i know there's just something very telling and very beautiful about that certain um character story that this is not a character f feeling sorry for themselves but rather you know it's a, it's a character that finally seeing something that they want and trying to work their hardest um to get what they want even if it's just as simple as making friends or which is definitely kind of hard because obviously all of us in real life you know we all have these things where we want to achieve um and it's hard and other people surrounding us, you know, life is not that nice. But um, 
these types of films sort of like show us that maybe, maybe, maybe there's a glimmer of hope in there somewhere. And sometimes we need to be the first pushing ourselves into that certain direction. I think that's the characterization that certainly like becomes so alive in Onoda's character. Um, now, there's nothing really out of the ordinary about this film. Um, if you're a fan of, say, just sports anime, as I mentioned again, sports anime, if you're a fan of like sports anime turned live action films, like for example, Chihaya Furu and stuff like that, um, it's, it has the same formula. Like there's an underdog, there's someone, they sort of like meet in between because they see each other as, as friendly, friendly rivals. Um, and they grow and they go into a major competition that has something to that that redefines them as characters and in the end whether or not they they win um, there is a certain thing there that you, you capture into you know this feeling of satisfaction as to seeing these characters grow from the beginning of the story to the end of it um, and that's basically what your mushi pedal is about it's not exactly special in a way but it is a feel-good film in my opinion so if you're looking for a feel-good film um, this one is definitely it of this particular video I just want to talk about Nagaseren's performance in this particular film now I've said this before even if you are my fave or anything like that if I don't like the film or the drama I'll say it out loud and I think I've talked about this before when I reviewed some of his other films um, and dramas where there are certain aspects where I felt like earlier on his acting was a little bit shaky, but I feel like for Yoa Mushi Petal, his newcomer award that he got recently for this particular role is well deserved. And I think I tweeted this a couple of times already. Um, I feel like this one is his best role yet. The reason for this is because even as an idol with his Ikemen image out there, this film allowed him to show a little bit more versatility. Um, and there's certain vulnerability that he showed given this certain character that gave it some that gave it the sincerity that it needed to its core and i really really like that and i feel like again this is his best role yet and um i don't know i just want to like put it out there obviously like for the other characters ito ken tarashi motokana like Vandriota, they also did a good job in terms of like supporting this entire thing but i feel like and again, biases aside, not just because Ren is a member of King and Prince and I'm a huge fan of the group. Um, I feel like he, he did a really good job in terms of just, again, elevating the character of Onoda into something that feels very real and very raw and very sincere in his intentions as to what, why he is like that as a character. And... Yeah, so I just want to like highlight it there. Now, with that said, so tell me down in the comments below, what are your thoughts on this film? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Are you planning to see it? So yeah, now if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel and you would want to hear more from me, please hit subscribe. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope to see you again soon in a new one.